Well, ladies and gentlemen, tonight's action continues with the showdown in the Quest Light Cruiserweight Division. So please put your hands together and welcome our first fighter into the arena tonight, making his debut in the Quest League. Please welcome Joe Howard. Welcome his opponent into the arena, fighting out of the red corner. Please show your appreciation and welcome Jack Dowling. Ladies and gentlemen, distinguished guests, this contest brought to you in association with RTX, the official fight gloves of the of Quest Boxing League and BoxFit, and our headline sponsor, ReeseMini.com. So introducing your first fighter, standing in the blue corner, representing South Morton Boxing Club, please show your appreciation for Joe Howard. And introducing our second fighter, standing across the ring in the red corner, representing Fixed Box Gym. Please make some noise and welcome Jack Dowley. This is like Cruiserweight Champion to be followed with three two minute rounds. In the electro three round Cruiserweight contest between coming out of the blue corner, Joe Howard, and his opponent, Jack Dowley. Now, you've got some thoughts on this, Dan. Yeah, so uh, last time we see Jack Dowling, he was out he went straight into uh, the, the Quest Boxing League, straight into a title fight, regional title that he lost on points, for, which was a very uh, close fight. It was, I don't know if you remember it, it was a, it was a really good fight. Yes, a, I do fight actually, yes. They, they made a real war of it and he, he just, just lost out, but perhaps it was a step too far going straight into a title fight. So this is a non-title fight against a... a an experienced fighter in Joe Howard. Um, Jack, obviously, as we, we know, is relatively inexperienced, but he is a very game fighter, he as you can is, see. Yes, strong he will, too. He will come forward, he will throw shots. Mm, interesting. Thank you. Yes, there's 24 fights registered on the uh, Joe Howard record, although this is his quest at debut this evening, known as the Quiet Man. I think he's got John Houston in his corner as well here tonight. And... Uh, well, Jack Dowling, 33 years of age, six foot tall, from Bognor Regis, from the Fit Box Gym in Chichester. And uh, his record, well, you know, I mean, on paper it's nothing. You know, two wins, two losses. And his only uh, quest fight was a, a defeat. So, you know, they, they can't, there won't be much in this day. No, there won't be much in it. Obviously, the experience uh, lies with Joe Howard, but as we are seeing from Dowling now, as what, like what we've seen in the last fight, he will not stop coming forward and he will always take the opportunity to throw a shot when he's tough, he hits hard, he's strong, he can take a shot. 
he's going to be a hard night's work for anyone. Yeah, but, absolutely. Um, at the moment, I think he's pressing the action. He's the one that's um, he's the one that's setting the pace, that's that's taking control of the tempo of this fight. And for me, that's nicking him the round at the moment. There's not a lot in it, but the, the work that is being done seems to be coming from Dalvin. I mean, you know, it's not it, Howard's not without his own successes. No, of course not. No, I just uh, it's uh, it's one of those but you, you can score it for Dowling, um, sorry for Howard, and the fact that he's sitting back and picking his shots, trying to be clever, or you can score it for Dowling, the fact that he's coming forward and, and pressing the fight all the Which way through. Which is what we normally do. Yeah, yeah. When there's not a lot of action, yeah. got Dowling's corner uh, calling for him to, to, to do a bit more they're saying let's go let's go I, I suppose they think that he does need to just throw a few more shots he's walking forward not throwing much that's the thing that's probably missing he's just just throwing a few more shots he doesn't want to let Howard walk away with this by just picking yes. him off good point well you, I mean, you're, you sounded like a bit of a fan of uh, Dowling's when we spoke about him earlier um, and I suspect that still retains yeah, he's, he's not my typical type of fighter. I, I like a, a, a fighter that, that sits back and, and takes their time and picks a shot. Someone more in line with Howard. But I was so impressed with Dowling the last time I see him out, the fact that he just kept coming forward, kept throwing shots, that you have to appreciate that. Yeah. And I knew that he was going to do the same tonight. It's not quite as lively, this fight. It's not uh, caught fire like the last fight did. But it's not for the want of trying from Dowling. He's... Um, he's fairly flat-footed he, he doesn't move amazingly does he Dowling but when he does throw a shot you can you can sense the power in those shots he's, he's heavy-handed good point Howard opting to, to take the back foot work his way around the ring um, he's, he looks like he's looking for a counter punch looking for an opening somewhere um, Dowling will present him with openings at times because he will come forward and he will throw shots on the way forward, which does do that. But at the moment, uh, not really much happening for uh, for Howard. You know, the problem that I think Howard has got here is that he just simply doesn't have the, the physical strength to overcome Dowling, does he? So he's, he's got to be smart. He has, yeah. I, th I think one of the criticisms that you'd have of Dowling is the fact that he, he, he only has one gear. He doesn't. Yeah, that's good he point. doesn't speed it up. He doesn't. He doesn't slow it down. He, he just yeah. comes forward. He starts plows, at 30 miles an hour and stays there. Yeah, and over over the longer rounds that can be quite effective. Yeah. Uh, over three two minutes it right. needs to be effective from the off. Yeah. Um, which, I, like I said, I gave him the last round, and I think he's doing enough in this round to to get the nod. Um, but that's something that they could probably work on in the gym, maybe like going through the gears a little bit. And, Interesting. A really good round. It's not a. It's not. Not a lot happening in the fight. In the fight, is there? But yeah. like we said in the last round, Dowling continuing to press. Dowling continuing to to land shots, and Howard trying most landed on his glove. So it's a. Uh, it, do you score in the favour of Howard because he's trying, or do you score in the favour of Dowling because he's having? Because uh, he's having, landing. Yeah, because he's landing, um, albeit not very much in either of them. Yeah, good point. One thing, of course, that we frown upon here is the draw. Yeah, and that's why um, that, that's why these these fights are over when they're over three rounds. It makes it harder to score yes. a draw unless you're scoring rounds a draw. Um, for me, I think Dowling's doing enough to take the rounds. I wouldn't argue if one of the rounds went the other way. Um, but I think Howard's got to really show something here. He's, he's got to, he's got to make a difference. But I just don't think he can make a dent in the strong, powerful yeah. Dowling. That's a very good point, Dan. Right, here we go then. Third and final round. So, Jack Dowling with his uh, black attire and uh, Joe Howe with that, those sort of white crosses down the uh, legs of his shorts. Yeah, this is a better start from Howe. This is yeah. what he does. He's, 
he's doing what Dowling doesn't do and he's going through the gears he's speeding it up he's sure. slowing it down and he's making it difficult for Dowling to, to tag him and he's catching him with some brilliant shots there. he's those, doing really well yeah those body shots those little pitter patter shots are just putting putting him uh, putting Dowling off and just, just having enough effect to stop him from throwing and that's what Howard needs to do stop him from throwing land him and then yeah. get out of him well I've got to say Howard has done so well in this final round yeah definitely he's come out and uh, so but why did he do this before? Again, it's one of those when you've got a guy in front of you that guys like Downing can seemingly, when they're in front of you, be an easy target. But when they do not stop coming forward, they become a hard target. Yeah, true. Yeah, I think with, with Downing, we just need to see him go up through the gears a little bit. Don't we? We'd, I'd like to see him just for a combination. Yeah, but he has, of, like you said earlier, he's not got any he's, he's not got that, but that's something that they need to work on in the gym. Yeah, but some people, Dan, as you know, you know that they, they are governed like a speed governor, um, and there's nothing you can do about it. No, that's right, and it's not that it's what he has, what he can do, and isn't effective. And like I said, I've given him the first two rounds, I've, yeah. and it's not a criticism uh, no. as such. It's it's, it's just a, an observation. Mm -hmm. Well, it's going to be two rounds to one then in favour of Mr. Dowling. That's what it's looking like, yeah. But you, would you argue if one of the rounds were given the other? No, way? no, absolutely not. But then you'd be looking at a, a draw territory, wouldn't you? Yeah, yeah, that's that's right. But it's a testament to Dowling is the fact that Howard's probably having the better of this round, or oh, clearly having the better yeah. of this round. But ha uh, but Dowling is still coming forward, still throwing shots. Good point. So just to clarify then, we've gone for Dowling by a squeak. That's how I've got it, yeah, one round in his favour. Um, I wouldn't argue with a draw, I wouldn't Boxes be massively surprised if it went the other way. It was, uh, but it just makes you wonder, what, if Joe Howard had done something a bit, a bit sooner in the previous round, it could have been his. Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, distinguished guests, after three rounds of action, we go to our judges here at ringside with a split decision. Your winner in the red corner, Jack Towley. So Dowling does, in fact, get the nod. Um, as I say, that was so tight. Um, and, you know, had Joe Howard just done us a, a bit more in the previous round, it could have been a different story. But yeah. uh, he'll get another chance, I suspect. Yeah, definitely. Um, I think he's got a lot of potential, Howard. By the looks of it, he, was, he wasn't in agreement with the decision. Um, and it's one of those, I think he'll watch that back and go, I could have done yeah. more. He could have got the nod tonight. Yes, I but totally he could agree. have done more as well. Yeah. You, you, you've, got to, uh, you've got to make sure that you do enough to get that nod. I completely agree.